Hey everybody, it's Lance the Lush back once again. And on this Saturday night, we're talking about the Mucky Duck Brewing Company's All Mucked Up. Now, Lush fans, this is the second selection I got from this brewery here locally in Akron, Ohio. They are located in the Portage Lakes area of Coventry, which is a suburb of Akron. Now, as you know, in my previous video, you know that it took me a long time to get down there, and I finally got there. I actually reassessing on the second bottle that I got on that one, on the, um, excuse me, the PLX, I'm actually more impressed than what I was during the review. Now, this one, with all mucked up, here's what the official webpage and the bottle states. It states, if I look at my monitor, it says an excellent medium body German wheat beer with hints banana and clove. Now, for the record, the alcohol by volume is 6% and the IBUs are 12. Now, if you've been a long time viewer of my channel or somebody that's new, please understand something. When you start getting like the wheat beers and things like that, I, I have always called them the quote unquote cloud beers. That's just me. I know probably a few other people here in the country has called them that also. So it's not just me at all. But we're going to get this review started here. Bust out the trusty bottle opener. <clears throat> if I can get it open. I apologize for that. Now, when I pop the bottle, there is no smoke whatsoever. Now, please understand, I bought this yesterday. They do their own self-bottling. So I'm not totally sure if that really entails as far as that. Now, I apologize, Lush fans. I know you're going to see this on my um my YouTube channel, my Roku channel. But I do have to check as I go along anybody else is watching on Facebook. And I apologize for that. But like I said, I don't see no smoke at all on this. Um, I really can't smell because of the bottle. My nose is kind of stuffy tonight. But that's neither, neither here or there. Now we go for the pour. Now the first thing I will say that it pours really, really, really clean. Now, as advertised, it is the quote-unquote cloud beer as I call it. Now I do see some carbonation in it. But unlike the other one I just reviewed, it's not cleaning to the glass. It's going straight up. There's about two fingers of head retention, even though it's going away pretty quick. Um, before I put that down on the down on the counter. Now the first thing I notice is cloves. Now, the one thing with cloves is this. And I'm talking about if you're talking about the uh, the plant itself, you're talking about if you if you smoke cloves or you have it in your in your beverage of choice. There's one or two things with those. Either you smell them or you don't. And I do pick it up immediately because my nose is trained to to, to catch cloves. I really do. Now, as far as the banana smell, I get it, but I don't get it. The best way to describe it is um probably. That really, really, really fresh banana, and I'm not talking about that like 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 it's yellow and ready to eat. I'm talking about like that, that green, fresh off the plant banana. That's what it smells like to me. Now I did notice that the head on this went away absolutely immediately. Now some people like that, some people don't. And I'm looking at the glass. There's virtually no latency. Uh, I'll put a little bit more in here. But that's okay, you know. Um, now, as far as the German wheat, what, that remains to be seen. What I think about that, but we're going to find out right now. So, cheers. Hmm. Now, I will say this. I pick up some of the German wheats in this but not necessarily a lot. What got me the most on this was the carbonation factor. 
Now, doing their soap bottling, I don't know if this was a fresh batch or not. I have no clue as far as that, you know. So it's one of those ones to where I apologize. I keep looking at my monitor just to keep, just make sure nobody's chimed in for our comments or anything. I'm not sure that was by design or not because I didn't talk, I didn't talk to the brewmaster when I was there. I didn't. Now, I don't know if he was there, he or she, excuse me, was there at the time. But I should have picked their brains for their selections when I was there. But that's okay. Um, now, I am picking a little more of the German wheats. Now, with the German wheats, at least as far as my taste, and your palate's a little bit different, it's a little bit more tart than normal. And that must be a straight German trait, because even even the mainstream German beers that I've had, and I'm not talking about the big, big ones. I'm talking like the ones like the craft beers that are imported. I noticed that. So it's one of those ones to where either you like it or you don't. Now, like I said, the clove taste, I got that immediately. Now the hint of now the hint of banana is Definitely, definitely in the background on this. But you can tell it's there, but it's more like that super, super fresh green banana taste, not the ripe one. And and I will say this. I've noticed the companies that actually use banana in their craft beers, I prefer to have that super fresh green banana versus the ripe one because it's not as sweet. And that's a characteristic, at least in my opinion, that um, some people like, some people don't. But tell me in the comments what you think as far as that. Now, I'm trying to pick, ah, excuse me, pick out something else. I'm not necessarily getting clove more. I'm getting the clove, let me rephrase that. I'm getting clove, but it's one of those ones to where I'm actually getting a lot of lavender also. And I don't know why. Now, I don't know if they put some type of lavender, lavender taste or feel in it. I'm not totally sure. But that's something interesting I'd like to know. Um, lavender, maybe floral. Like I said, I'm not totally sure. Now, what, um, you're probably wondering how many chocoboos I'm going to give this. Now, um, excuse me. Now, I give this a solid three and a half. And I, I forgot, Lush fans. I've got to put this back out front so you know what it is. Um, you're probably wondering why. Here's the reason why. A lot of it is the carbonation factor. I'm not sure is it supposed to be discarbonated by design or not. And that's a question the next time I go down there, I shall ask. Now, this is not a knock on Mucky Duck. I'm just totally curious what it is. Now, um, Lush fans, like I said, it's a three and a half stars. The Lush does recommend. Now, if you can get down to the Portage Lakes area of Coventry Township, please go there. And, um... I was actually, like I said in my previous video, really impressed, but that's a different story for a different day. Well, Lush fans, I'm going to get off here. Now, as you can tell, this is Lance the Lush which is, which, with his review of the Lucky, no, the, Mur the Mucky Duck Brewing Company's All Mucked Up. I don't keep saying Lucky, it's, m it's Muck, Mucky. And stay tuned for the next edition of Lance the Lush.